Hi Stamper. Today I'm going to show you how to use your clear block to um, do a background. Like this one here, uh, the stamp set that I use, it's Creative Element and I did it in So Saffron and with, uh, Wisteria Wonder and I will show you how I did my background with a clear block. So let's get started. Um, tonight the block that we're going to be using going to be block D and before you want to start you want to make sure that your block it's very clean and we're going to do it in pink pyrrolet so I'm going to get my pink pyrrolet here and the size that I like to do with uh, my block D it's three and a quarter by three so we're going to ink this very good and sometimes you want to test it it seems sometimes you don't want to ink the old image like here you see I like this but if you want more of the color what I'm using it's my foam from the poker there that what I'm using to poke that's what I'm putting on the back of this. You could use like those foam padding that come in the package, just just a little sheet. It's just to give you a little bit more cushion. I want to make sure, because this is a very light color. I like it with lighter color, like the Wisteria Wonder was a little bit too dark for me. Okay, I want to make sure I don't get all the lines in. Okay, now I'm going to try to center this, so I'm going to stamp on top of this. I hope I'm not hitting the camera. And then I'm going to put pressure in. Hold this. Ooh, that is pretty. So, can you see it on this here? See how pretty it is? Now I'm going to use my stamp set. I'm using in the creative um, elements, I'm using the flower. So I'm going to stamp this in black. Voila. And then the next step, okay, the uh, base of my card, it's the pink pyrrolet. I'm going to fold this in two. And that's its half a sheet. So five and a half by four and a quarter. The next layer in the black, it's five and three eight by four and one eight. So I'm just decreasing one eight of an inch for my layer. So it's just give me a tiny little border. Just off a bit there. Here we go. And the next step, it's my white. It's going to be five and a quarter. Um, excuse me, five and a quarter this way by four. And then again with that stamp set, I'm going to use this border here and we're going to stamp that in the bottom. Let's hope I can stamp straight. I've been doing a lot of video tonight and for some reason I'm way off on my uh, straightness here. Oh, that's pretty good. And then I'm using the uh, G block. And again, I'm going to do that with the pink pyrrolet ink. And then I'm going to stamp just in the center of this. Voila. It just gives off and on, and I like it. And the perfect set that to go inside that, it's the short and sweet. So I'm going to put my thank you right in the center of this. Is that cool? Okay, now that it's straight, I didn't want to mount it first because, like I said, I've been stamping everything so off tonight. So now that I know it's straight, I can glue it. It's a lot easier to glue it after than unglue it. I think my paper is not cut straight. Here we go. And then, with my layers, remember I told you this was three and a quarter by three and a half and this one I increase half inch around so it's going to be three and a half by three and 
three and a quarter by three and a half and then three and a half by three and three quarter and let's just mount that one on top of each other this and this is going to go on top of the pink yes I do love layers it's something that I think it adds so much when we put layers but I'm going to show you, oh, I smeared the thing. That's okay. See, I smear it there, but it's going to be okay. So this is in the pink pirouette, wisteria, and so saffron. Is that cool? I think I can look at that. Okay, I'm going to show you another one very quick before I ran out of time. I did just little planes. Let's say that you want to do quick note card. This is three and a quarter by six and a half. Just fold it in two. And for this one, I'm going to use the block uh, number B. And I'm going to use for the center, I'm going to use on this one, writing hood. Writing hood red. Ooh, that is dark though. I'm going to stamp it off once because it's kind of dark. I'm going to stamp that right here. That's okay. It's just the outline, but for the one that I want, I think it's going to be okay. I'm going to use this one. This set, in, it's in the uh, Easy Event. And then I'm going to stamp this right in here. Voila. And it's a Merry Christmas one. So I'm going to stamp my Merry Christmas in the bottom. Look how simple it is. And this here, I got a video to show you how I mount mine, the design there and the grading in the bottom. It's a lot easier when you want to uh, stamp at different places. I'm going to show you another quick one because the red didn't show too good. I'm going to make sure to wash it good after it's washed. I'm going to use Bashful Blue. No, you know what? I'm going to use a uh, crumb cake. I see which one I want to use it with. I'm going to use my crumb, crumb cake. Make sure I get enough ink. I'm going to try to center this. Voila. I like the vintage look of this. And this I'm going to use the, the cuckoo uh, clock I think it's called. Oh, look how cute that is. And then I'm going to stamp my yellow right on top here. Voila! How simple it is. going to have to trim my stamp a little bit there. So that is it. How I use my um, clear block to do the the background. So I got a bunch of them. I'm going to have them on my video. But really tonight I wanted to show you this one and another night I, I'm going to put that on my blog too. So till next time, happy stamping!